Welcome to Real Reviews, where we take a look at major Hollywood releases and let you know if they're worth your time, money, and patience. I'm your host, Walter Bernadia, and today we open our minds to Johnny Depp's new sci-fi thriller, Transcendence. This film marks the directing debut of Wally Pfister. Pfister usually serves as superstar director Christopher Nolan's director of photography and has been working with Nolan since 2000's Memento. He had plenty to dig into here, and as his first directing project, this seems like a pretty big undertaking. The story follows Dr. Will Caster, played by Johnny Depp. He, along with his wife Evelyn, Rebecca Hall, are a definitive authority on artificial intelligence. As Depp's character is stricken with a lethal dose of a form of radiation poisoning, Caster inches closer to his inevitable death. However, his wife constructs a last-ditch effort to keep him alive by uploading his mind into a computer as his body withers away. Their closest friend, Max, Paul Bettany, is essential to this process but questions the morality of it before, during, and especially after the procedure. When Caster's mind is set free, he, or it, becomes a threat that Morgan Freeman and Killian Murphy's characters take serious notice of as government officials get involved. Transcendence has a fascinating concept and addresses some big questions about nature versus technology. Unfortunately, it only dives just below the surface of these intriguing inquiries. It handles enough of them to keep the film mostly interesting the whole way through, but takes the story in a different and less thought-provoking direction than what the concept of living longer than your physical body merits. The movie doesn't really take a stand on either side of this advanced technology being mostly good or evil. This middle ground approach would have been more effective if implemented properly, but it just ends up feeling like a cop-out with a hint of forced sympathy. Throughout the film, heavy details and big jumps in time are glossed over without a second thought, and this hurt the story a bit. Casters eventually becomes almost omnipresent, and that made his digital presence a little too perceptively invincible. The process of that next step in Caster's post-organic life is also not delved into very much. Other problems with the film include Depp himself. I think he's at the point now where he's played so many outlandish, strange, and wacky characters that plain old Dr. Will Caster is too much of a regular Joe for him, even if he later turns into an all-powerful supercomputer. Besides that, the movie ends up being pretty forgettable and dull when you leave the theater. It's not something that's going to stick with you, which is something that this concept should do. All that being said, Transcendence will, for the most part, keep you entertained and keep your attention while watching it. There are some good, genuine character moments and scenes sprinkled into the script, and when they come, the cast handles them well, especially Paul Bettany. Pretty good performance from him here. As a directorial debut, it could have gone much worse for Fister. It's a solid start for a directing career that I will be interested in seeing the next segment of. Transcendence may not have lived up to some of the buzz around it, but it's an entertaining watch that would be fine as a rental when it comes to DVD and digital format. I'm giving Transcendence a 6 out of 10. Be on the lookout for our real review of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 coming in two weeks. And remember, if it's not reviewed here, it just isn't real. I'm Walter Bernasiak, and I'll see you at the movies. Oh, 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 oh,